Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we're going to look at a new Baofeng. Well, actually two new Baofengs and hopefully try and clear up the little bit of confusion um, that's going around this new model. So this is the UV-17 or as often mislisted the UV-17 Pro and so is that. So when you're looking at these two radios you can see that they are both pretty much identical in every which way. Everything about them is identical. Top, side, USB-C connection, battery, everything is exactly the same. Everything is exactly the same on the outside. Things start getting apparently different when you turn them on. Very interesting. Welcome. Channel mode. So, this one is the UV-17. And this one is the UV-17 Pro. So let's take them each individually and take a look at them. And then we'll look at what's similar and what's different. The 17 and plane 17 is a standard bow fang. The only difference now is that this has what is being referred to as a color screen. It's actually just a blue screen. It's a single blue color. There are no other additional colors to it. It's just blue. That's it. Now, it does come with 99 memories as opposed to the standard 128 which is kind of confusing because a lot of places refer to this radio as being the replacement for the UV-5R. Well, the UV-5R is actually the radio that has brought a lot of us and you into the hobby by introducing you to radio telecoms very inexpensively to see if you like it or not. UV-5Rs were selling for around $25 to $27, $28. I'm now seeing UV-5Rs for like $15 available. And there are thousands of them around. I don't think they're going to go anywhere anytime soon. It's a very practical, easy to work radio. A lot of people get into it. They start out as a hobby. Eventually, they either throw it away, give it away, or just stash it in a drawer. But I don't think it's going anywhere. This, like everything else that Baofeng comes up, they come up, I think they come up with models every couple of months. There's a new model of a Baofeng I see somewhere. So this is the new one for 23, and in fact, this is actually listed on Baofeng's official site on the German site. Nowhere else. Only the German site is listing this radio. And oddly enough, the title to this says UV-17 Pro. But as soon as you get down and start looking a little bit at the listing and the description of the listing, it just says UV-17, not Pro. And you can see the functionality. It has the very standard menu. You go up and down. You change things. Nice thing about it is it does sync your display. So everything on this, to me, is exactly the same as this. This is the 13, the UV-13. Now this is the Pro. Interestingly enough, the Pro is 8 watts as opposed to the version, well, there's no Pro listing, it's a version 2. Version 2 is actually 8 watts, whereas version 1 was 5. Now, I did measure this one just today, and I'm pushing, actually, 4.9 watts in UHF and 5.5 in VHF on this radio, which is the UV-17. So. Everything else functionality-wise is the same as the 13. So the menu structure is the same, the sync is the same. Obviously the 13 is a little bit smaller in size, although they both have the same heft. They're kind of chunky. Uh, both of them do have USB-C connectivity. This one does not have the same waterproof rating as this one does. This one is supposed to be a little bit better. Um, but nonetheless, they're very comparable and they work very much the same way. In fact, 
Since neither of them was available on Chirp, you have to use a CPS program or a programming software that is available on the Abri site, which again is one of the Baofeng companies or subsidiaries. I'm not sure exactly what their structure is. There's a lot of manufacturers that manufacture these radios. I know the Baofeng comes up as Fujian Baofeng or something like that. But then there are other companies that manufacture these radios and they come out with different labels on them and different names but they're all the same radio basically i think they all source out of the same place firmware is pretty much the same hardware is pretty much the same but it's not on this one this is the 17 pro now the 17 pro as you can hear it coming on has a man's voice instead of the traditional Chinese woman voice with a little bit of an accent. This one has a gentleman with a heavy voice. Uh, I don't know who he's trying to impersonate or whatever, but it's just, I just find it amusing. Two, three, four. And yes, this does have banks, as does this one. They both have banks. They both have 999 memories stored in 10 banks with 100 memory positions each. Now the banks are kind of interesting because you can do different selections like this one for example has one setting that I keep and then I've got Motorola frequencies on the other one and if you go to this one it's going to have different frequencies so this is going to have again different selections and I can scan each band separately and that way I can select what I want to do. It makes it much more convenient, much more practical. This one also has banks but the CPS that's available to program it, which is again the UV13 CPS, will not do banks. So if anybody has a link to a software that will operate properly on this radio, please leave a comment. Uh, it'll, it'll be very convenient for a lot of us that have got these radios and trying to figure out how they work. Um, another thing about this radio which is nice is this radio actually has AM band. Now you can't obviously transmit on it, but you do receive is the air band, so it's 108 to 136 megahertz, and you can receive air. I live close to an airport, so I pick up a lot of air traffic, which is kind of fun sometimes to just listen to. Another thing I've noticed about this on scanning, it's a lot faster than some of the older Baofengs, so it does scan faster than the old ones used to, which is also a nice feature. Plus that color screen, Oh, that is pretty. It is actually a color screen. It does have a lot of different colors on it. You can see it. The only thing I've not been able to do on this radio is actually get it to sync. The manual is the same for both radios, unfortunately. So obviously the menu structure is not the same because the menu structure on this one is different than the standard menu structure that you get. It has most of the features on it, just like the regular ones. But as you can see, this one has multiple different sub-menus, and then you choose one menu from that, and you select what you want to do. This one also has GPS. Now, unfortunately, the owner's manual, although much better written than the older manuals, fairly explicit about a lot of things, shows no mention at all as far as the GPS is concerned, how to use it, what to do with it, or if you can see, or anything else like that. I'm assuming it's transmitting a GPS position when you transmit. Um, I don't know. Again, if you do know, please let me know. I mean, just leave a comment and let me know. Um, again, a nice feature again that they have put in here. They have changed the flashlight position. It is no longer on top of the radio like it used to be. It is now on the bottom of the radio and there are two lights quite bright as a matter of fact and of course it flashes and comes on and off it's underneath and it is it has a raised bottom so if you're setting your radio standing up you're not going to damage it you're not going to damage the lights or anything like that that's another nice thing about it it's a solid radio it feels good in the hands a little bit heavier and bigger that's why i don't like to compare this to uv5r which is really much smaller uh, but it's a nicer generation of, of new Baofengs that kind of feel good. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more Baofeng models coming out. I mean, there's, there's a, apparently there's a 15, there's a 16, there's a uh, 222, or several other models. None of these are listed on any of the official Baofeng sites. But you do find them on AliExpress, you find them on eBay, obviously. 
they haven't hit Amazon yet. So I'm not sure what's going on uh, because there are a lot of brands that are on Amazon. Uh, one more thing I'd like to mention is I'm starting to get too many radios and I'm starting to run out of space to put them. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to give away a brand new radio as soon as I get uh, 500 subscribers. I'm a new channel. It's still in its infancy. So as soon as I hit 500 subscribers, one lucky subscriber will get a brand new radio in a box free of charge, including shipping. Um, regrettably only in the continental United States. I can't ship overseas because of custom regulations and a lot of paperwork involved. So for continental US, as soon as I hit 500 subscribers, one will be picked up at random through uh, some silly system in the computer and you will get a free radio shipped to you free of charge to do whatever you wish with. So um, one more thing Leave a comment, please. Any comments are welcome. Uh, you know, suggestions, comments, anything, let me know. I would appreciate additional subscriptions. Hit that uh, little bell if you want to be notified when my next video is coming out, because my next one, I think, will be the UVK5. That's coming up very soon. Um, I, apparently, that's a new one that's hitting up on UV5R. We'll see what that does. Um... Thanks for watching.